Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about RT600VA that is Volt Ampere uh, Line Interactive UPS. UPS uh, full form is Uninterrupted Power Supply. I will discuss its specifications and I will also discuss how to troubleshoot in case of any problem. The block diagram of Line Interactive UPS is like this. Whenever the incoming power is available, it is directly fed to the load through the static switch. The function of the static switch is to auto-regulate the voltage means whenever the incoming voltage is low it increases the voltage and whenever the incoming voltage is high it decreases the voltage and that voltage is fed to the load. Whenever the incoming voltage is range is out of the specifications of the static switch in that case the UPS goes to the battery mode or in case of power failure also the UPS goes to the battery mode. In battery mode the inverter is turned on and the inverter converts the DC of the battery to AC and it is fed to the load. This is the UPS uh, front side. So this UPS is having two modes, AC mode. Whenever the incoming power is available, the UPS will be in the AC mode and it is indicated by this green light. Whenever the incoming power fails, the UPS goes to the backup mode or battery mode. In that case, this green light will flash means on and off. And this is the on button of the UPS. This on button is also known as call start function means uh, whenever the incoming power is not available to the UPS during that time also the button is used for turning on the UPS. These are the three different sockets so three different loads can be connected to the UPS. So after purchase so before connecting to the loads it's better uh, to uh, charge uh, at least four hours uh, it is as recommended by the manufacturer. So this UPS is not recommended uh, for uh, laser printer or scanner that is 600 way UPS because uh, these uh, loads will take uh, higher currents um, than uh, supplied by the UPS and this may damage the UPS. So these are the specifications of the UPS capacity 600 VA input voltage range is 140 to 300 volts AC output voltage is 184 to 253. The voltage is low it increases if the voltage is high it decreases uh, whenever the ups is in battery mode that is in case of power failure the waveform that is uh, uh, generated by this uh, ups is a simulated sine wave or also known as a modified sine wave this is the pure sine wave that we will get from the utility so this is the modified uh, sine wave or uh, simulated uh, sine wave that we will get from the ups output in case of uh, the incoming power failure and this type of waveform is uh, not recommended for sensitive uh, loads like medical equipment or servers. For PCs or routers, so this uh, waveform will not have any uh, effect. So you can use uh, this UPS for uh, powering your uh, personal computers or routers. The backup time here if you see it is a 40 minutes. So 40 minutes you will get whenever the connector load is of uh, very low wattage. So here I have uh, done the backup time calculation. 7 AH is uh, the battery AH into 12 volts, its voltage into the inverter efficiency divided by the P of the UPS uh, into the power factor 0 0.6. So we will get this as a 360 watt. And this comes around 11.2 minutes. So if the load that is connected to the UPS is 360 watt, then it will only give 11.2 minutes. If the load uh, that is connected to the UPS is decreased, means if it uh, becomes 300 VA, then uh, this will become 22 minutes. If it is further decreased, so then the backup time will increase. And these are the uh, other specifications like uh, weight, dimensions, noise level. And here uh, this UPS will give alarm in case of any problem. So. Whenever it is in backup mode, that is battery mode, it gives uh, beeping sound after every 10 seconds. Whenever the battery uh, voltage is low, so it gives beeping every second. Whenever it is overloaded, means its capacity is 600 VA. If you are connected more than this, then uh, the UPS will give alarm by beeping every 0.5 seconds. If there is any fault with the UPS, it gives a continuous beeping. And this is the troubleshooting procedure whenever uh, the LED display on the front panel is not coming then uh, these are the possible causes and uh, these are the possible solutions and the alarm if it comes continuously so when the mains is normal so the UPS uh, might have overloaded 
so we need to disconnect some of the loads that are connected to the UPS so then this problem might be solved whenever the power fails the backup time is shortened so means the battery voltage is too low means it is not fully charged or it has its age has ended then it's time to replace the battery so these are the possible uh, solutions whenever the mains is normal but UPS is on battery mode green light is flashing means there is some issue with the incoming power cord you need to uh, uh, reconnect the power cord uh, properly and you try again so the problem might have uh, solved thank you for watching my video